I grew up in Russia from the family of musicians. To tell you the truth, I don't think they very much wanted me to become a musician. It's very difficult, but when I started showing what they called the symptoms at about age four or five, like good rhythm, good pitch, my dad thought, well, okay, let's see how he'll do at the placement test at the Gnesson Institute of Music. So I went in, I heard this wondrous, beautiful, exotic sound emerging from one of the rooms. I was told that's the sound of the oboe, and that was it. The oboe has a very unique sound. All the great opera composers of the world, even Hollywood composers, they have figured something out about the personality of the oboe. When you hear the oboe, it's very bad news for the character because we bring sorrow, we bring suffering, but in such a beautiful and poignant way that it's sadness, but it's a beautiful kind of sadness. Fantastic. The composers of the world have given us some of the most beautiful solo lines to play, but at the same time, the oboe is capable of changing the color of its sound based on the dynamic, and that's why it can absolutely beautifully function in the supporting role. Of course, I love to shine in an oboe yeah. solo, that's wonderful. But you know, I tell my students, that's probably about one or 2% of what I do. Most of what I do is ensemble playing. We create the sound together. We have to be a family that functions together every day. We find some kind of an energy, some kind of a connection with each other and with people who come to our concerts, and that's a wonderful feeling. It is a combination of tradition and exploration. I've had incredible teachers who try to encourage me to become whoever I was going to become, as opposed to try to imitate them. And this philosophy is something that has allowed me to have absolutely everything I've ever achieved in my career, because that's what was given to me by my teachers. Teaching is not about you. It is about what you can do for someone. And every single student is different, and you have to find something that will unlock their own potential, something that will be the right language for them. And it's a very personal, very continuous, ongoing, and sort of infinite kind of a connection. I can safely say that now, after 20-something years of teaching, it is equally important to my identity as a performer. I am equally a performer and a teacher. I stand in front of this great road, this great freeway, and it was always there before me, and it will always be after me. But right now, I have a chance to contribute something to this one particular chapter of this freeway. It is an amazing feeling. It is very liberating. It is very humbling. And when things get really difficult for a student, I really try to remind them of that place that encouraged them to become a musician in the first place. Because at that moment, the only thing that mattered to them was to play an instrument through which you can express yourself. That is an amazing, amazing joy.